as you're working away, putting your notes into Sibelius, particularly if you're writing for um, a multi timbral instrument like a piano or um, a guitar, for example, instruments that can play more than one note at a time, in other words, you will want, at some point, to write chords. There is, of course, a quicker way to do this, so let me show you how to do that. I mean, of course, what you could do, for example, if I decide I'm going to put a note there, I'm using the mouse. Let's say, for example, though, I'm going to use the QWERTY method of input, which is, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, it's probably the quickest way. So let me just put some notes in. So I'm going to play an A, then a C, then quavers, uh, B, A, G. Now, if I wanted, for example, to now put um, a chord instead of that G, I wanted that to be part of a C major chord, for example, what I would have to do is this, at this point would be escape to come out of this, escape twice actually. Um, click on the minimum there, and when I put the, the note there, watch what happens. It replaces the one that was there, which I then have to re put in and put the other ones around about it. That's obviously not the best way to do things. So let me show you what is a much better way to do it. I'm going to do the exact same two bars, but we do it here. So we'll start off, as again, as I've said before, I always put the first note in with the mouse. Then I'll type an A, then a C, then a B, a quaver, then an A, and then my G. It's exactly where I got to before. But before I do anything else now, using the numbers above the letters, I can now type the number 4. And that will give me a fourth above the note that was highlighted, in this case a C, and it highlights the C for me, so now to play the E, or to add the E, I simply add the number 3. That'll give me a third above that. If I wanted to put another third above that to be the G, I'd type 3 again. If I then type another letter name, let's say I type the letter F, it gives me a new note afterwards. I can then add, for example, an F major chord very quickly by going 3, 3, 4. How quick was that? Once you know the, the intervals, let's say an E for the next one. No, let's say we go back to a G for the next one. If I wanted to add an interval below the note, well, remember if you want to do the opposite of a shortcut in Sibelius, very often you add shift to it. Well, that's the case here, so I would do shift then three, gives me a third below, and highlights that, and shift three again, gives me a third below that again. It all works seamlessly as you would expect from Sibelius. Of course, this feature assumes that you're working with block chords, which means all the intervals are on the same rhythm. If you wanted to use different rhythms, then you would have to use different voices. And I would strongly recommend at this point, if you're interested in doing that, that you go and have a look at the separate video on using multiple voices.